And welcome to Homegrown USA, guys, where we demand the truth, we read our Bibles, and home remedies work. We've got recalls and all kinds of stuff to get to tonight. A lot. Let's just get to it. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well and you're having a great evening, morning, afternoon, whenever it is that you're seeing this. So we've got coin shortages. We've got all kinds of crazy stuff happening around the big old world, including weather events and stuff and topics that we're going to talk about. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, especially if you're a person that likes to hand out the gospel. The gospel is in every description box of every video. So although we don't always do just church things and read the Bible, we always include it on every show, and we forward the gospel. So if you guys would please subscribe and share, that would be awesome, especially for the beginning where I'm going to go over this part right here. So we've got a recall, and this is the stuff that's being recalled. So it's Blue Man, like Blue Man Group. A clean hand sanitizer and I bet the stuff would take the paint off a car <laughs> but seriously it's 17 yeah 17 ounces now I got the paperwork on this stuff and it's kind of creepy this is it it came from BJ's and it goes over it and this is the recall the lot numbers so look at look at these lot numbers it's insane I'm not obviously I'm not going to be able to you know, go over all those, but I can tell you guys. 4E Brands is voluntary recalling select lots of Blue Man hand sanitizer, 17 ounces due to possible contamination of methyl alcohol. Please do not return the product to BJ's Wholesale Club, Sam's Club, so they don't want you returning it. Again, please do not return the product sincerely. So, it's to my understanding that they want you to pitch this stuff from what it looks. So, yeah, this stuff here is is very harmful. It's not good for you at all. Honestly, I don't use this stuff because I think it lowers your immune system. If you're always constantly making things perfectly clean around you, you don't have a good defense system. Your immune system, in my opinion, goes down. I once knew a person who used this all the time. Uh, I mean, she would put it on her hands, she'd put it on gas pumps, and I used to pick on her, tell her, that stuff is only good for taking sap off of pickup trucks. <laughs> That's it. And it works fantastic. It'll take hard sap right off a truck if you put it, you know, if you put it on a rag, a microfiber rag, I don't have one of them around. I got the t-shirts. But if you put this on, the, on a rag and wipe your car down, if you got I mean the sap could be there for 15 years and this stuff here will cut it right off so anyhow yeah guys let me show you what this stuff actually does this is the hurricane that's coming in and it looks like we have two of them I'm gonna be discussing that here in a second so it says decreased level of consciousness poor or no coordination vomiting abdominal pain and specific smell of the breath so it makes your breath stink decreased vision may start as early as 12 hours you can't see after 12 hours after exposure long-term outcomes may include blindness and kidney failure so like I said please share and please subscribe we put a lot of work into the shows and make sure people aren't having kidney failure blindness and all the craziness because everyone seems to be buying this stuff up thank you so much for doing that I think something that is so funny so in the comments on my last show we had someone we had someone say your show is out of order <laughs> I'm like what <laughs> because I go through the show all right here's the elect you know the outage map then we do the 15 day forecast and kind of look at that and I guess you guys know the order to the show better than me I had two or three tabs out of out of the way and one of you guys <laughs> didn't like it and I said I, hey you know what I'm blessed I'm thankful um, I owe the whole channel to you guys and give all the glory to God all of it 
because I truly believe in my heart that when you hit that subscribe button, it's nothing to do with me. It's maybe something I'm going to say to you later, or I don't know how it works, but I think it's actually like a spiritual thing. So on that note, I love you guys. An asteroid just missed Earth. Scientists say this is how we plan for and watch the keywords guys a planet killer so i woke up and i'm like well this is kind of interesting stuff because the words that are being used for aliens and asteroids and comets are just unbelievable comet neo wise is dazzling sight but it's also a reminder of how unprepared we are for dangerous asteroids it snuck up on us scientists stunned by city killer NASA planning to defect planet killer asteroids. So we got planet killers, we got city killers, and yeah, these are the headlines, you know? So I come across this was all over Twitter today. Serac girls stumble upon an asteroid set to pass Earth in the future. Uh, NASA confirms their discovery. So I found this kind of interesting. It doesn't really tell you when it's going to be here, but it's about asteroids hitting earth and almost hitting earth and here is the thumbnail guys when i saw this do you know these guys that i know you 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 know what i'm talking about we have these guys in the community that do what's that it's called gematria gematria where they take like the number three 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 or 19 you know and they figure out codes in things i personally i don't do that like i don't have eyes to see I was never good with numbers numbers isn't my thing I like photography you know other things I signed up for in life and numbers wasn't one of those so they look at the numbers and they're like bang 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 and they like, can read a full sentence with numbers this article that I'm gonna show you I could see the numbers and I can't see them look at this it's just unbelievable how close it is to the day we all know and will never forget. It says, according to the database, the asteroid will pass by Earth on September 1 at 10.49 a.m. Eastern Time. The 200, or the, two, the 2011, see, the 2011 ES4 will fly by you know, and it gives you the astronomical units, and it's going to be going 44,000 miles an hour. The distance is much closer to the to Earth than the Moon, which is around 238,000 miles away. NASA calls this potentially hazardous, and I am letting that screen up because I'm sure someone's pausing it and uh, doing numbers. You guys did that with that last video, and I was thankful in the comments. I'm like, you go for it. I that's unbelievable what you guys found out about a silly recording just a silly recording and we all knew it was fake we all knew it was stupid but nothing's done without a purpose and i knew when i heard that i thought this is predictive they're trying to predict something and wouldn't you have it mr gates is behind it the vtr oh that stuff that changes dna and rna interesting stuff it's a big rabbit hole that last video it's huge and to be honest with you i had so much work involved in that this is i thought really interesting chinese authority took control over the former u.s consulate in southwest chinese city you know we were just talking about this about backup power systems about serious threats and serious probabilities solar flares emps these people are the ones that's been threatening us for since 2015 and they're not going to listen. We both have, they both have leaders that are stubborn. You know what I mean? China takes over closed U.S. consulate in days after ordering it to be shut. And relations continue to plummet. So what are they saying here? Analysts say relations between China and the U.S. have hit their lowest point in decades. China ordered the U.S. to close its consulate in Chengdu Friday. It was in response to the Trump administration's order for Beijing to close its Houston consulate after Washington accused Chinese agents of trying to steal medical research. In addition, four Chinese scientists have been arrested in the U.S. and charged. 
and there's you know that's part of the thumbnail thumbnail and it's a serious thing i believe because well this is my fourth video on it let's see what they're saying here and what the headline is u.s and china warning trump heading to pow the point of no return as export experts ring this bell and it's amazing how no one's seeing this not many people our concerns that the two powers are reaching what we refer to as a point of no return that there is a complete deterioration of relationship between the two and that might even lead to and this is the worst case scenario uh, military confrontation conflict because this is an era that's very much being shaped by so she's saying it's going to be a military you know conflict i mean the, the writing's on the wall question mark by voices from the most hawkish of personalities in both administrations and we have seen this play out on a much smaller scale when we saw the crackdown on chinese journalists in the u.s i mean they can't get nothing right i mean they have <laughs> think about this it's been the trade deal you know horrible trade deals put tariffs on them it's been the spratly islands it's I mean, it's everything with this country we can't get it right and now we gave them 72 hours kicked them out of our country yeah it's 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 going insane so i i, I just can't believe that people aren't covering this and taking it seriously now this is the express it says u.s china warning trump heading to the point of no return as experts ring war bell another thing i was on twitter and i posted Oh, where's the message? Did you guys know about the... No. Someone just got saved and accepted Jesus Christ in my comments. And you guys let the coolest comments there are. And I read every single one, you know. And this was on the show, What We Can Expect, Grid Down, Power Management, Food, and How to Prepare Now. And this was all about the country we're just talking about, that we're having serious problems, you know, and the probability of... The grid going down and the probability of a serious threat and backup power systems and how to protect ourselves but what's way cooler than that is this guys everyone knows if you look at my description box the gospel or the good news of jesus christ is in the description box so i might not do a show on the bible i typically always include a bible verse in the show and i always put the lord in the show somewhere but when you guys forward the show, you're passing the, the gospel around. And some of you guys get that. So you're doing the Lord's work by sharing the video. You could actually share this one because we're not going to get into the tinfoil hat stuff tonight. It's all good stuff. But no joke. I put the gospel, and I always tell everyone, as you know, there's a prayer in there for you. And here it is. And it says, I have awesome news for you guys. Jesus, Jesus explained to Nicodemus that when we were Nicodemus, that we, we must be born again and repent and have salvation leading up to the full conversation we all know well of John 3.16. You guys check his comment out. Blew my mind. Lord Jesus Christ, I believe you are the true Son of God and that you died on the cross to re rescue me from my sins, death, and to restore me to heaven, to be with the Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit. I choose now to turn from my sins, my selfish ways, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose to serve you, and I choose to give you the, my entire life. I believe in you. I believe you are the way, the truth, and the light. I accept you into my heart, into my soul, and into my mind. I choose to serve you and to receive your love and forgiveness i ask you to take your rightful place in my life as lord and savior please lord of lords and kings of kings come reign your peace love happiness into my heart and into my soul fill my heart and my soul with your love and your light and help me become a better person who is truly loving and trusting a person like you please cleanse my mind my body and soul from the demonic entities that have been tormenting me my whole life may the blood of your sacrifice wash my sins away and restore my mind body soul in your name jesus christ allow me to live love learn and grow through you please bless my soul in your holy name the heavenly father and the holy spirit's name and help replenish the strength of my mind body and soul in your honor thank you god of the holy land and of the holy spirit in jesus name i pray now my question is how does it get better than that 
and that's what happens when you share the videos someone always clicks the description box because i try and keep it fun down there <laughs> let's just say it like that you know what i mean like so if you click what's going on there's always something in there like a giveaway there's something in there and if something would happen and the crap would hit the fan every one of you guys knows homegrown's got the message in that box you guys know where to go get it i had to share that i know it's a little time consuming but the pessimist got saved and god bless you so moving right along this is uh the twitter page if you guys want to come follow me over here it's at usa underscore homegrown and the two shows where we talked about the emp shields and getting prepared you know and starting small were these two shows here this is a longer version it's an hour and 16 minutes long where i talk about you know what's going on and the threat that we're dealing with with this other country what we can expect grid down yeah the other one is what we found and why it's important getting it so you guys go check them videos out if you want um emp protection he is on both of them videos and he answers every single question so you know all phases of an emp they protect you from lightning and solar flares and it's just unbelievable that what these devices do you can come over here and enter the emp shield free giveaway this is demandingthetruth.com and you can also subscribe go to demanding the truth just go to google and type in demanding the truth and you'll find it very easily and there's 663 over here come over here and check it out the outages and all the maps so currently we have texas out with 11,000 people these are all outages of today to 28th so you can see this list always gets longer it goes across the whole page spectrum ups uh, xbox i mean just all these companies were down today it shows you what time they were down rcn 1 49 p.m youtube was down today 3 30 facebook was down fox news was down so these are you know things are going down and it's odd it's typically not that much all right national weather service hot and very humid conditions are expected along much of the east coast today as heat advisors extend from maine to north and south carolina the heat and humidity will fuel afternoon and evening strong severe thunderstorms eastern new england to mid-atlantic critical fire weather concerns in the interior northwest and great basin today from scattered dry th scattered dry thunderstorms yes i read that right so here we go guys let's check this out so i did look at this and i seen if we could see the the storm coming in here and not quite yet i looked at this and said that's a mess <laughs> i mean this is just a total chaotic mess you can kind of see over here a little bit but watch how everything lights up at the end of this they just reset it we're having weather on a biblical scale look at this unbelievable actually here's number nine okay so this is 60 percent chance this is a two-day outlook it is almost already at puerto rico this is a five-day outlook it's almost at puerto rico and it's also a 60 percent chance it's got 40 miles per hour 40 mile an hour winds moving north northwest at 25 miles per hour formation chance through 48 hours is high 90 percent format Mation change through five days is 90%. So this thing they're saying could possibly turn into something really, really ugly. And I wouldn't doubt it. So here we are now. I wanted to see when the sun goes down here if we could see it. And we can. Right here coming into... You just see the tip of the storm what it looks like right before the sun goes down. Alright, so here's our storm. Coming right, right here is Puerto Rico right here's the storm i kind of wanted to look at it and look how this is getting i mean it's getting really dark i don't see it spinning a whole lot but to, in today's world that thing could do any i mean we could watch that do just about anything but what concerns me is what's behind it so we got all the stuff behind this thing that might turn into a hurricane so chances of getting two of these things could be pretty good this is the gefs now this is the u.s model and they're predicting it to kind of hug the shoreline i mean if you look at this there's just a couple 
you know, heading up into the Gulf, but check the Canada one out. This is the Canadian model, and that is a lot, that's a total different story right here. So this is showing it going up to the west side of Florida and exiting out, some of them all, all the way up to Maine. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on this and see what this actually is. Windy.com. Okay, so this is the PM25, the dust. This is not looking near as bad as it did. Obviously, the country looks clean, you know, not dusty. We'll check that out later. The stuff is carcinogens, and I always keep an eye on that. The radar maps look pretty good. I thought this was comical. Social distancing is a perfect storm for headaches. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really <laughs> it wouldn't be that the frequencies and all this stuff here that causes headaches would it you guys if you're interested in grounding we just discussed grounding on this channel and i'm actually using it right now my advice because i've had so many people ask about these things is i got the starter kit and with the starter kit you get this and you can put that around your ankle this thing's four years old. It runs from here to the other side of the house. So, and you're grounded. I mean, and it's just an awesome thing because for me, it changed my life. I, I love grounding. I ground every single chance I get because I don't have to, when you're grounded, you don't put up with the frequencies. It's like they're gone. So people ask me in emails, what do you like the best? I like the throw. Just to put it simple, I like the starter kit. If I had to if I had to pick one of all these, that's my favorite because I love I love the throw. I use it all the time. Um, let's check this hurricane out. That's where I'm at. Okay, so let's piece this together here. This is uh, July 31st. We can see it down here in the corner. That's right down there in Florida, and this is going to see where they put this at. Friday, August 1st. Okay, so August 1st. Obviously, Florida is going to have, if this is where it's going to go, Florida's going to be feeling the effects of this by the 1st of August. Now, they're showing it right off the coast. And let's see where they're going to put this. And it's moving up the coast and slamming straight into North Carolina. Wow. So, you guys out there at Cape Hatteras and Buxton and Duck and Avon and the whole, yeah. That looks pretty rough. Let's back this up a little bit. So it's going to go all the way up. Looks like it's going to run all the way up the coast. Isn't that crazy? So there you guys have it. Press. This is a hot weather forecast tropical 33 degrees Celsius heat wave to bake Britain in 72 hour sizzle. Full map. I know Heather Bushnell and a few people are from the UK. So I thought I'd bring this up for you guys. It only takes a minute. Bacon. <laughs> This is, uh, they actually have a Friday map here. There you go. So Friday by 3 p.m. I mean, this is just insane. So it looks like everybody's baking. Here's a drought map. And I, as you can see, a lot of people are suffering trying to grow vegetables, plants, period. And this is the precipitation map. And if you notice, everywhere it rains, it's raining down here. It's constantly getting wet down here and diagonally across the country. But when you look at the drought map, we don't need rain here, and we don't need rain here. So it's weird how that works. No tsunamis, residence. Schumann residence is 797-734-783 is what it's supposed to be. 734 is very low frequencies. Let's see here. How to gauge the frequency and amplitude experiences. Do you wonder why you are so tired? Who was tired yesterday? You guys, this was like crazy it, it just keeps on dropping yesterday it was crazy crazy low and now it's 30 i think from the comments that i've been reading when the frequencies go low it does make you tired okay so this is the air now map for our country look at the state you're in this is the forecast for today here and then this is the forecast for let me see here forecast today and then here's the forecast for tomorrow so obviously this down here, Arizona, you guys almost, that's really bad. Ohio, Cincinnati, and Indianapolis. These are the areas that are not going to have really good air tomorrow. There's only three, New York, 
has 10 cases. Ohio, record 1,525 new cases, 131 hospitalized in the past day. And Georgia. So what's really weird about this is this map went completely zero. And you guys know how it is. I mean, you go from zero cases and now all of a sudden they're coming back up again. Atlanta, uh, the Atlanta mayor tested positive. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. God bless you guys. We've got something to open. And I know I said this on the last show, but we're going to get to it because it's been sitting on this desk for way too long. If not one person today told you that they love you, not one. I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys sooner than later. God bless. Wake up and listen to my anthem. Tune out the noises from my past and look up. Remember where my help comes from. Yeah. Push back. I'm tired of feeling broken. Truth rings louder than emotion. Take time, remember what it means to love. Yeah. Here's another chance to see the change we need. See a miracle when we walk these streets. Living life in the light, redefined in the land of the fray. I can feel. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane And it's bubbling over like a sweet champagne You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain All day long, right or wrong, you question everything why the grass is green Can I stay up late And why do the bluebirds sing Sometimes you cry your big blue eyes For no discernible reason Your point of view It comes and goes Like the changing of the seasons You got your mama's sunshine You got your daddy's rain You're like a piece of heaven In a hurricane and it's bubbling over like sweet champagne You got your mama's sunshine You got your daddy's rain You act just like your father Yeah, you laugh at your own jokes You're pleased with your opinions Girl, you want the world to know We don't need no Mona Lisa Don't need Dolly or Chagall You're like a miniature Picasso With your markers on the wall Sunshine, you got your daddy's rain. You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane, and it's bubbling over like sweet champagne. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain.
got no fears Only got my blood, my sweat, and my tears Like smoke from a gun, like a brand new sun. 